and welcome once again to the thrifty collector gonna go over some through the mail returns that i've had and uh one i did pay a little money for not much but uh some pretty interesting uh cards here of players the first one is ted kubiak interesting guy he uh, was originally brought up by the a's and uh he was on the last kansas city a's team he was on the first oakland a's team he was on the first brewers team he was on the first Rangers team, and he was also on three of the A's World Series teams in the 1970s. So he had kind of a pretty busy career. And the fact that he was on the Brewers means that he might have actually even worn a, a Seattle Pilots uniform if he was there early in spring training. That's the interesting thing about the Seattle Pilots. Even in 1970, they were in spring training, and they were wearing... Seattle Pilots uniforms, and then all of a sudden, the team went bankrupt, got sold, moved to Milwaukee. And I've actually talked to one player about it, and he said that it was very quick. They had really not much of an idea of what was going to happen. But this is Ted Kubiak's 1973 card. And then I also have his, he was nice enough to sign his 1974 card. And also the 1972 card. So it is kind of an interesting career. Three World Series. First guy to play on the Oakland A's. First guy to play on the Brewers. First guy to play on the Rangers. Last guy to play on the Kansas City A's team. And of course, three World Series championships. The next card is Ken Sanders. And Ken Sanders had a pretty long career. I believe that he Pitched till at least 1975-76 with the Mets. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't get this one off to Owen Johnson in time. He passed away a few years ago. I believe in the old archives, I do have one of these signed by both of them, both Owen Johnson and Ken Sanders, but I'm going by my memory, which isn't much of anything these days. And then last but not least, one of my favorite managers who also was on one of the teams that I disliked the most, the 1986 Mets. Um, he was the manager of that team when they won the World Series. It got stolen by from the uh, Boston Red Sox. Uh, I remember exactly where I was during Game 6 when that ball went through Buckner's legs, and uh, nobody was happy. It, we were in Massachusetts. You were like, it's finally going to happen. We're going to see the Red Sox finally win a World Series, and it just didn't happen. But this is Davey Johnson, and um, if you don't know much about him, he was a great player. He was about a five-time All-Star. He was one of four guys, I believe, 1972-73 for the Atlanta Braves that hit 40 or more home runs. So you had Hank Aaron and Davey Johnson and Darrell Evans all hit 40. Uh, I don't think anybody has even repeated that since then. But if they have, leave it in the comments. Paul Blair, who is uh, the other player, had a very solid career throughout his years. And uh, I always love these like spring training photos. And you see Paul Blair, you see that right there. You see that that looks like Pan Am which was an airline that's been defunct now, I think, about 20 years. So Davey Johnson did cost me five bucks. Uh, it's somebody that I do recommend. He was manager of the year twice. So if you're kind of looking for that guy that has a possibility to make it in the Hall of Fame and just hasn't yet, uh, had a great record, winning record as a manager in a uh, World Series and uh, with the 86 Mets, twice manager of the year. So uh, check his out. Uh, Maybe pick up, you can pick up a good rookie card of his for about 10 bucks. This one, of course, is not in great condition, but I've had this card probably at least 20 some years, maybe even longer. And so I was like, well, I've had this one. I'm going to go ahead and get it signed. And uh, I am probably going to pick up some more of his rookies and get them signed. Just one of the things you just never know if you can pick up a card cheap and the guy gets in the Hall of Fame and it's signed. Uh, you did yourself a, a pretty good service because you never know. This guy might go from $5 through the mail, and not Davey Johnson just in particular, but any of these players, 5 bucks through the mail, then they hit the Hall of Fame, and then they won $80 for an autograph and $250 for their rookie card. So, And uh, 
the whole rookie card thing, the upcharge or surcharge, has really taken a lot of the fun out of it for me because you always want to get that rookie card signed first. And uh, you see some of these prices for these guys. They might be, like I said, $80 for during a private signing. But if you want the rookie card, it's $300. It's, just, it's really just getting ridiculous. But I hope you enjoyed this and uh, keep collecting. And uh, if you have any thoughts about Davey Johnson possibly getting the Hall of Fame, leave them in the comments. Let me hear your yeses or your noes. Either way, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks once again and stay thrifty as always.